Hello there, my name is Joseph and I have come up with a bit of a challenge for myself. So I have always been very very active in terms of picking up new hobbies and trying all kinds of random shit I find online and just doing a lot of creative projects. That however has changed quite a lot since I started working full time about seven years ago. Uh, I've become quite a lot lazier and just gradually I've been doing less and less of that. Uh, I think there's quite a few reasons for that. First of all, of course, you are tired as hell when you come back from work. You work five days per week, nine to five, come home, cook something, sit down, and then the day basically just disappears. Uh, but I think a big part of that is also uh, just routine and habits. And while I used to have a bit of that, then I think it just gradually has uh, faded away with laziness, with much more active social life, with uh, parties and hangovers that kill a weekend just like that. And I think it has come to the point where I really want to make a change. And uh, uh, I've come up with a bit of a plan uh, where I work better on the pressure and to create some of the pressure in my non-working life uh, I have thought of, it. well, as you would guess from the title, I'm gonna try out some vlogging. And uh, what I think it will achieve is giving me uh, one big personal goal, which is to create content. And for the content, I'm uh, basically going to go through my long list of uh, hobbies and things I want to try and things I want to do and just make that into content. Uh, the other thing that I think it's gonna provide is uh, it's gonna add some routine, it's gonna develop some habits and hopefully those will just become second nature over time. And the third thing is that uh, it also requires quite a lot of planning uh, which should hopefully give some motivation and it should uh, make me better at planning as well. And uh, while that is nice on its own, I think YouTube or making videos for YouTube in general also has a lot of aspects to it that are worth the effort on its own already. So I really love video as a medium to begin with. Uh, I've made like little smash up music uh, videos of um, kind of experiences and festivals and life events uh, for many many years now and it is so fun to just go back and uh, look at that footage and uh, or that clip you made and just all those feelings and memories come flowing back. I don't think a photo could ever do that. Um, so, uh, but there is a problem with that, which is um, it works really well for me. I have all of those memories in my head, I have the story in my head and it works, but um, it doesn't work for anybody else, so I want to learn some proper storytelling and making videos with uh, a plot and some narrative and some more to it than just pretty cinematics. And another part is that uh, I want to get become better at talking and especially being in front of camera and uh, um, being better at storytelling myself. So. Uh, yeah, I have never been very comfortable in that and uh, I think it's a nice challenge to have. And overall, I also, I'm also really interested in uh, getting better at editing, better, getting better at filming, uh, learning about light setup. It's really not, not as easy as it seems. And uh, on top of that, I'm also working in a field where I make a lot of code, which pretty much nobody ends up seeing, so you don't really get much feedback for that. And that is something I miss from my early days when I did a lot of uh, design work and so on. So uh, making some content that's actually tactile, that people can see and that I can get some proper feedback and constructive criticism for. Uh, so I think that would be uh, motivation and so on as well. And in general I really enjoy seeing what other people do and uh, learning from that. So hopefully I will also make some content that inspires some other people and that shares my knowledge or some ideas that I have and so on. And yeah, I'll just see how that goes. So, the plan is to do at least one video per week and the content would vary anything from woodworking to leather crafts to making outfits for 
many costume parties that I go to, to making head pieces for Burning Man, to making latex outfits, to electronics, software, whatever comes into my mind. <sighs> so, that was nice to get off my chest. And if you're seeing this episode, that means that it has somewhat worked, since the plan is to create a few uh, clips to act as a buffer and uh, proof of concept and uh, basically get me going. So, I'll get it and let's keep on working.